All right, welcome to Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. My name is Carmelo P, and here we go. Sly, do you read me? Yeah, I read you loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I swear to God, no Murray reminds me of Chris Farley. Okay, hold up. We're not doing this. Uh, let's see here. Controls. What is the deal with older can? What's the deal with older games and wanting to invert horizontal looks? Hold on. I got. I have to change this. I have to, or else I'm going to go mad. Uh, controllers, controllers. Let's see here. So, so left will be right, and right will be left. Close. And there we go. Too easy. Actually, hold on, where's that? Uh, close that. Bam. Bam. Everything should be good. Okay, return to the game. Hey, Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Okay. The good old sneaky bits. Is this Assassin's Creed? Thievius Raccoonus? Uh, oh god. Be extra careful here, Sly. Break one of those laser beams and you'll set off the alarms. Not oh no, not the alarms. Yeah, I remember this game being like easy to like I think this is one of the easiest platinums I've gotten on PlayStation. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. Behind the red door, okay. But yeah, bis uh Bentley or not Bentley. Probably reminds me of Chris Farley so much. Just the way he speaks. Alright. Featuring the Fiendish Five. Nine three seven. Okay. I think in the later levels you have to get like those like hidden bottles or the message in the bottles to find uh, to find nice the it. combo. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> reset the act. How would I reset the act? I'm actually in, in, I'm actually curious how to do that. Unless I just save and quit. Well, I can't save and quit. I've, I would have to alt F4, wouldn't I? I'd have to alt F4. You foolish or something. You red ah, Carmelita. I get what you're saying, though. There's probably like a mod out there for that or something. You need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Because if I save and exit... Hey. You know, it's just gonna really save the uh where i'm at and everything you think this pistol packs a paralyzing punch you ought to try it might snap you out of your crime spree and give up our little rendezvous plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars love to stick around and chat but i just dropped by to pick up this case file i think you've had it long enough okay I don't know if you ever got to play Thieves in Time. Thieves in Time is pretty... Well, can I get this coin, please? 
Really? Nope, I guess not. Okay. Anyway, Thieves in Time is pretty solid. I wouldn't say it's good, but it's pretty it's pretty solid and you can enjoy your time with it if you if you really want to. Oh no, we missed one coin. Whatever will we do? They change her voice actor at some point too. Once again, my gang and I have given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I've been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Phoebus Raccoon. Well, I say, when I say a game is a five or six, or if I say a game's solid, I usually mean five or six. After all, Meaning it's competent. You're not going to be blown away. If you spent your money on it, like a lot of money on it, you would be upset. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. I really did this like it was a cartoon. Drive, avenge my father and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. They really did make these games like they were like a cartoon. Like, like now that I think about it, Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, and Sly, like pretty much video game cartoons. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Oh, you can hear that audio compression too. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so there's that us here. It's the crocodile lady. That's the dude with the uh, handlebar mustache and the big guns. I think he helps you in three. Oh, I can't go any further. Okay. Damn. Okay. I was going to see who else I could remember before we keep going. I know, obviously, the clockwork owl. It was one. I mean, we'll figure it out as we go anyway. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. Oh, the frog. Well, there is the crocodile lady then, I'm sure. Man, this hot tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Okay. Sly Cooper in Tide of Terror. Yeah, they really did do this like it was a TV show or a movie or something. I, I appreciate that. I wonder what other PS2 games I can run through are. If there's actually any I can run through that I haven't already. Like, I mean, besides like Ratchet and Clanks and everything. Problem. 
I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Go ahead and grab some of these bottles. I think there's a total of 10 in every level, I think. 20. I was wrong. I didn't think I can climb on the ropes just yet. Okay, I'll take that. I know I can, like, rope walk at some point. I know one of the things is to jump on the, like, little spiky bits. Yeah, he can only hang. He can't walk on it just yet. Okay. Uh, is there any point going over there to them? Probably not. But yeah, um, Thieves in Time, like, I don't remember it being, like, when I played it. This is back in, like, 2020, I think I ran through this series, or 2019. It wasn't long, too long ago, actually. Um... I don't remember it. I mean, it was all right. You know, solid. It was a game. It functioned. You know, it had a story. It had a plot to it. But, you know, nothing memorable. Like, I remember some of the bad guys in the Sly Cooper series. Okay, let me get as many coins as I can because I can't remember if there's, like, any upgrades I need to manage. You done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. Okay. Yes, yeah, stay out of the lights. Oh, okay, that hurt. Oh, I died. <laughs> Damn it. I knew I didn't. Oh my god! Don't tell me I have to pick up all the bottles again. Don't tell me I have to pick up the balls again. Don't tell me that. Okay, no. All right, the coins respawn. Okay. Ooh, man, I was about to be aggravated. I guess the coins are like kind of like uh, what is it, Mario? That once you get like a hundred, you get a horseshoe. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't like I thought I could whack them down. No, I was wrong. Okay, so this dude sees you regardless. And dies with one hit. Okay. Okay, not bad. Oh. Do I need to hit these or no, no just checkpoint. Okay, sweet. Yeah, this is like I think this is just the hub world for his levels too. Looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24 7? Beats me. The rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. I might play a Half Life on stream, maybe. I've never played Time Splitters. I've heard great things about time splitters. I just never played it. I mean, there's a ton of old games I've I've not played. And that's like one thing I saw like on like I hate going to Reddit, but I get I go there to get my Warhammer news and like video game news and stuff. But like people are talking about the uh, the strike. Oh wait. Jumping with the circle button to grab onto hooks. People are talking about the strike that's going on in Hollywood, the writer's strike, which, hey, I support. You know, people should strike over whatever they want. Just strike, do it, squash it, whatever. But they said that it's going to bleed over to video games. And I saw somebody's ignorant argument that, you know, it's it, people are going to go crazy when no new video games are coming out. I'm like, motherfucker, you have not played every video game in existence, and I just got killed again. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a long one. But, yeah, I was like, dude, like, there's... 
Like, I hate that when, like, that's a stupid argument to say. Yeah, it's not easy. You're right. I don't know. But let me get used to it. Let me get used to it. Because I did just play, like, six Jack and Daxter games in a row. Maybe I'm not used to it. Or maybe I'm reading the levels wrong. But, like, there's always stuff to play. There's so many video games. It's not even funny. I know later on, when I get to some of these boss fights, it'll get ridiculous. Because it's pretty much like, I know some of these bosses are just like bullet hells and you can't do anything about it. You, like, especially the, the, the Pistolero dude with the handlebar mustache. That's a, like, that's going to be a problem. I know that one is going to be a problem. Uh, the fiery panda, maybe. I don't really remember him either. I, I, like, I know he, he teams up in three, but I don't remember if he's uh, a permanent. Let's see, I'll go up here first. Oh, will you, Bentley? But. I forgot what I was talking about. Holy shit. <laughs> you found it, Slide? That's the final clue to crack the code. Oh, yeah, the characters in the game, yep. Yeah. yeah, the boss fights are going to be a little rough. I mean, they're, they're simple boss fights. Like, the, like for what they are, I remember that much. You just gotta figure out what the the gimmick is. Seven nine two. I wonder if you could brute force those, or if you can, like, or if the game's set to where you have to collect all twenty before you can guess it. Okay. Okay. Leaves a little calling card, which, you know, whoever leaves a safe out in the middle of nowhere where anybody can access it deserves to have whatever's in it stolen. Or actually the whole safe stolen. Why not? It's still the whole safe. Those safes cost a lot of money. There's that key. That's what it is. You get a key from every little level, and then uh, that unlocks the boss door. And that's what it is. Now I remember. Yeah. Yep. Which I don't think that's even one of them. I think that's uh, it's just to that door only. That blimp looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police file suggests. And that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you gonna get to the impossible part? Fine. But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. So now, like, since I'm going to be playing and beating this on the stream, now the question is, is the game too old for me to review? Because I didn't give a review to Jack 1. I did Jack 2 and 3. Now just keep the streak going just how I feel about games after I've beaten them or just do certain ones oh man okay jump and pretty much a yep dive attack or not even dive attack Okay, good for me on that. Eureka! We're in the engine room. My analysis tells me that if you trace the spinning 
Bentley, you don't have to tell us everything. I can kind of figure it out by the trail of coins that it's conveniently left for me. So that should give me a gold horseshoe. Yep. Okay, so we have two lives. I forgot, like, what happens if you get another 100. Probably, I think it probably stays at 99. Ooh, I got, I got lucky there. I think it stays at 99. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're you're probably right because we're technically in the still in the uh, tutorial phases of the game where it's like telling you literally everything. Yeah, I remember loving this game as a kid. Just like most most video games